Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. And in this episode, we will be learning how to make a woven paracord lighter wrap keychain sleeve. This is a really decorative and novel way to carry your lighter. And with the integration of a keyring, it's a great way to keep it with your everyday carry. If you're enjoying the content here and would like to support the channel directly, please feel free to check out the Weavers of Eternity Patreon page for exclusive content and more. That being said, let's get into it. In terms of materials, I've got my paracord, disposable lighter, and a keyring. And just so you know, the Bic lighter I'm using is the slightly larger version. The split ring is also optional, of course. And one last thing you'll also need is a pencil or pen. To get this one started, I've got my paracord, and I'm going to hold it against the lighter, and just leave a few inches of paracord to the right side. I left way too much. And then I'm going to take a pencil as well and hold it on the other side of the lighter. Then with the longer end, I'm going to form a bite against the other side of the lighter and direct it back to the top side. From there, I'm going to start wrapping my paracord around both the lighter and the pencil going away from me. I'm going to continue coiling the paracord around everything going down the body of the lighter. You can either wrap the cord by winding it like so or you can just turn everything and wrap it around that way. Try to get the entire body wrapped with paracord. Once you get to the bottom, feed the running end through the loop formed by the bite earlier. After the cord goes through, pull on the other end to tighten and close that loop. Next, we're going to attach a lacing needle to our running end. If you don't have a lacing needle, you can use hemostats or even just melt the end of the paracord to a point. At this point, you can also remove the pencil from the wrap. Now starting from the bottom of the lighter, we're going to start weaving the cord over, under, and over the horizontal cords. Make your way to the top and pull the cord all the way through. Ensure you don't have any twists. If you do have any twists, just untwist them as you are pulling them through. After the first pass, go back the way you came next to the initial pass, this time going under, over, and under. Do the opposite to make this sort of basket weave pattern. You can also do just a few strands at a time, or even one at a time, to make the weaving easier. Go all the way to the bottom and pull the cord through. Now after this second pass, I'm going to use my marlin spike and push the second pass closer to the first. So that is the pattern that you're going to do working your way around. The weaves will get tighter as you go around, so you can do one strand at a time to make it a lot easier. Don't forget to push the vertical weaves closer to each other. So I've made my way around to about this point, and to do this final pass, I'm going to actually remove the lighter from the wrap, and its structure should stay in place. I'm going to insert my index finger in place and complete the final pass to finish up top on the same side as the standing end. With that done, I'm going to take the standing end and pass it to the outside of the wrap, coming out the same spot where the running end finishes. Now 
Next, what we're going to do is reinsert the lighter into the sleeve. Working with the bottom end, you're going to have to wiggle it through the wrap, and if it looks like it's a pain in the butt, that's because it is. The lighter will catch on the horizontal strands, so you can use a lacing needle or spike to push the cords aside to get the lighter through. To attach the keyring, I'm going to loosen the standing end or running end strand and create a bite on the bottom. Then with the keyring, I'm going to feed the bite through the ring and then bend the bite around and over the keyring to form a cow's hitch. Then from there, pull on the end you loosened to cinch the ring closer to the lighter. You'll have to work the slack through the hitch knot as well. Lastly, all that's left to do is to snip off the excess cords and melt the ends with another lighter and press down on them to lock them in place. So there you have it weavers, another version of the paracord wrap lighter sleeve. Also one other tip I wanted to give you is that you'll notice that the lighter does move slightly in the wrap. And if you're igniting it, depending on your grip, you may find that it pushes it through the wrap. If this annoys you, you can always do this. Move the wrap to the butt end of the lighter and start pressing the bottom of the sleeve around the butt end to create a small lip to prevent the lighter from getting pushed through. The wrap will be a bit lower, but now it will not slip through. If you want the sleeve to cover more of the lighter, try to squeeze in more wraps. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and that being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters who make videos like this possible. And for those of you that aren't aware, I do run a Patreon page to help support this channel. For the low price of $3 per month, you can get access to exclusive videos as well as our Patreon-only Discord server. You can also support the channel by liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. If you enjoyed the content here, please feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.